Inficon refrigerant leak detector by Stratus. This is uh, the one with the parts per million. So just recently, finally, after about two and a half years, the infrared sensor for the refrigerant leak detector finally failed. And they don't slowly go out, they're just like immediate. You have full strength up to the very end and then they just go out like a light bulb. So I just got the new one inside the mail. It came, I swapped it out, doesn't even take 30 seconds. Now it's time to recalibrate and test to make sure. These are the cartridges that have refrigerant in them. One of these cartridges have R1234YF and the other one has R134. And uh, I have it on set uh, super sensitive mode right now, as you can see. And uh, let's see how super sensitive, oh yeah. Okay, it's super sensitive. I didn't even, let's open up the bag. That's how sensitive they are. So I already know it's working without even opening up the test module. Let's get the bag away from there. So this is uh, the YF gas right here. This is your testing source. And just over the top. Let's uh, get this bent down. Let's see, I'm looking at the screen and this at the same time. There we go. Not even holding it on there. So this is down, they have these down to like tenths of a gram leakage in one area. This is five grams at 20 C. Well, this just came out of the refrigerator. And so it's about at seven C, not 20 C. So the pressure is actually lower. You're supposed to let these come up to room temperature, but uh, I've been told to store them in the refrigerator because they'll last longer. I think they come with a two year shelf life and that's probably rated at uh, 20 Celsius. But if you keep them at a lower temperature, they'll be at a lower pressure, and so their leak rate will go down. And so this will be the 134. Yeah, that's all I need to see. That's it. And um, when I take these into shops, to other garages, that say they can't find leaks on certain cars, the first thing I do is I pull out a uh, calibration bottle and I go over to the shop's leak detector and I test their leak detector and it usually fails. That's the difference between having a good tool and one of those cheap ones that you usually, that are not so cheap that you buy off a Snap-on truck or a Mac or a Mac or one of the other uh, trucks or one of the real cheap ones from uh, the internet. So this is uh, the part number. This is what it looks like. And since the price of uh, 1234 YF gas is so expensive, uh, if you're dealing with that, I definitely recommend that you make sure your leak detector is working on the YF gas. All right, that's all. Oh, True Tech Tools. So uh, you go on the True Tech Tools website and uh, you can purchase these. And this.